Tonight, a warning from CHP officers about driving near the border with Mexico. Look out for warning signs or you might end up in trouble. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Jesse Pagan is off tonight. CHP says far too many drivers are missing warning signs and are accidentally crossing the border. In some cases, the drivers panic and don't know what to do. CBS 8's Rocio de la Fe shows us the options you have before it's too late and what you should do if you do drive too far south. Despite there being multiple opportunities for drivers to be able to make a U-turn before approaching the U.S.-Mexico border, the California Highway Patrol says many drivers either don't pay enough attention or ignore the signs before they realize they're heading into Mexico. It's an issue they say happens way too often. The California Highway Patrol says some drivers are going past these signs instead of following them. We get it every now and then. Um, unfortunately, it's more than it should. It should be never. The signs are located on Interstate 5 and the 805 and warn drivers to get off the freeway before entering Mexico. Luis Arriaga has been crossing the border for the past 40 years and says he's grown used to the signage above the freeways, but says he could see how drivers unfamiliar with the area might get confused. It's a little hard to tell for people that they are not aware of they are not used to drive back and forth. Instead of having only one sign, you know, pretty much directing that this is your last exit, probably it will be good. If instead of one, it will be two more. CHP says drivers who find themselves beyond that point will still have the chance further south to make another U-turn. If you go past that, then Officer Jesse Matias says pull over and call 911. Get to a safe location, call 911. No, no circumstances should you take it upon yourself to, to turn around, make a U-turn and go wrong way on the freeway. The warning comes after a man is accused of driving the wrong way on the 805 after trying to avoid entering Mexico. The 29-year-old driver crashed head on into another vehicle, killing the other driver. Officers suspect alcohol was a factor in the crash. He consciously made the decision to turn around and drive wrong way um, against traffic. The driver is now facing felony DUI and vehicular manslaughter charges. Officer Matias says if you find yourself in Mexico, you'll have to go through U.S. Customs to come back into the U.S. Rocio de la Fe, CBS 8.